animals mean a lot to a lot of people and I can't stand when people just say like, oh, it's just a dog. I mean, he's my best friend. So this is my first experience being homeless and it's been about eight months, which is about eight months longer than I thought it would be, so, you know. I'm curious how, you know, what was your past about and how'd you, how'd you wind up here? Huh, well. <laughs> I'm a veterinarian. I'm out uh, walking the streets looking for uh, people whose pets need some care. Would you mind if I take a look at them? Please. Yeah? This is a condition called entropion. To be corrected permanently needs surgery. My way of giving back was to come out and, and find people that have pets. I, I've always had a, a soft spot for people who've fallen hard times. You know, for whatever reason, I don't judge. Uh, but it's the pets that I worry about. They need all kinds of stuff, sir. The gamut runs from the simple to the complex. I'm concerned about this. It broke, it healed back badly. There's a tooth in there that's infected and needs to come out as soon as possible. You're traveling around a country addressing this and looking into it and helping where help is needed as mm -hmm. best you can. Right. I'm just worried he may run off and get hit by a car. I might be able to connect you with my dog trainer friend okay. and get him professionally trained so well that you could almost take him off the leash and he would stay right by your side when you're walking about. I want to get him some help and I think we should do it sooner than later. Yeah. Are you okay with that? Yeah, man, I love him. He's my son. The pets are like a gateway to the person's soul almost, right? You start talking about their pets and then, it, you know, the doors just open and then we're just two people sharing stories about our pets and our love for pets. So I've been getting the most amazing stories. Oh, she's like my daughter, best friend, slash, like, counselor. <laughs> counselor? <laughs> when I'm going through a hard time, she'll, like, give me this look like it's okay. It's like therapy? It's like therapy. There's a, a bond with the pets down here that's kind of different. It's unique, right? It is very unique. A story in motion. You got him as a baby, right? As a baby, pulled him out of the dumpster. By far, he's been the best thing I've ever had. I know the pets are reliant on people, but I think the people are even more dependent on their pets. They love them and care for them, and it's genuine. This is my whole life, and cray cray. Dream is, I guess, to get her eyes fixed and me get off the kids. So with a little help from my friends. My mission in life is to save animals. I'm sorry, people hurt me. We reveal that giving a little can make all the difference. I love rescues and give second chance. It's, it's, it's a good part of our job, huh? Oh, he's the best one. We were sitting here, you know, earlier, just came here to meet somebody, and, and we're doing this now, and he's getting fixed. He's ready to go. Eli Manning, what's up, brother? Hi, I told you we were to wear a lampshade. Oh, my god. This is the best thing that's ever happened. Stay. Come on, Dan. Good walk. Thank you, sir. That's a huge improvement. It really is. And as their stories unfold, I promise to tell you mine. The world needs more people like you. Thank you. And more people just out here to help each other. Woo! I love you. You know, the tough days are tough, but we always celebrate the victories really hard. You know, the good days, the saves. Those are the days you walk away, you remember, you try to hold on to. You seem like a survivor. I don't think I'd be nearly as strong without him. Right. My encounters will surprise you. I've never seen this before. I've never seen nothing. And you've never seen this before either. And they will certainly inspire you. We have bad times now, but we're going to have good times in the future. Second chances are right around the corner. I'm Dr. Kwan, the street vet. <laughs>